नमस्ते माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ड्यूरिंग फ्रीडम मोमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मैनी अनसंग रेवोल्यूशनरीज सेक्रीफाइस्ड देयर लाइफ फॉर द फ्रीडम ऑफ देयर मदरलैंड बट unfortunately their names never appeared in the history of freedom movement of india why because it is due to the selfishness of congress <coughs> leaders who wanted only their names to appear in the history of freedom movement and names of real heroes should never appear in the list of freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives in this video i am going to talk about the chapaker brothers the unsung revolutionaries who assassinated englishman walter rand in 1897 for his repressive play control measures <coughs> the chapaker brothers assassinated englishman walter rand on 22nd june 1897 for his ruthless and culturally insensitive handling of the plague reigniting a spark of revolution among the nationalists four decades after the famous 1857 revolt the war of indian independence as savarkar aptly described on this day 127 years ago two brothers decided to avenge indignities and brutalities meted out on indians by the britishers by assassinating one of their senior officers the chapaker brothers assassinated englishman walter rand for his ruthless and culturally insensitive handling of the epidemic reigniting a spark of revolution among the nationalists four decades after the famous 1857 revolt the war of indian independence as told by savarkar veer savarkar the pune region during that time was in the grips of a horrifying bout of plague to curb the epidemic the british had appointed an insolent officer known for his rude and merciless conduct it was then that the chapaker brothers who were already finding means to <coughs> take on the cruel english rule found a purpose and a goal to terrorize the british raj but the lesser known tale of the chapaker brothers also has an even lesser known facet these days one can presume that satnarayan katha is to be performed if someone mentions that there is a puja at home however things were not always like this it was uncommon to centuries ago for satnarayan katha to be narrated during household pujas the sakanda purana which hari vinayak translated sometime about 
tells us nearly the same version of this sanskrit tale notably he was also the father of three brave martyrs who embraced death after killing a cruel englishman 127 years ago on 22nd june 4 dishonoring indian women in a cruel display of his authority due to hari vinayak's limited resources he used to perform kirtans in courts and other public spaces for a living his kirtan band did not have a separate musician partially because of budgetary constraints and partly because he wanted to teach his boys about his vocation he involved his three boys in this work it was for this reason that damodar bal krishna and vasudev did not receive special school education learning languages like sanskrit and marathi in the family was fairly easy for them furthermore they had to engage with the most influential pandits of their era as a result of their regular trips to locations like the royal court rooms in his autobiography damodar hari wrote that associating with intelligent individuals helped him learn more than just <coughs> acting a few acing a few tests if one were to enquire today hari vinayak is not remembered for his translation of satnarayan katha but for his sons according to the certificate hari vinayak and his wife lived with their poorly educated boys close to pune maharashtra chinchwad now regarded as an industrial district was a mere hamlet then the plague spread in pune at the end of 1896 and by february 1897 the disease took a horrific form as the number of deaths exceeded that of bubonic plague deaths by twice as that point 40 years had passed since india's last significant independence movement and foreign powers had strengthened their hold over the entire nation ics officer walter charles rand was picked after witnessing the horrible form of plague so close to Bo- mumbai then bombay which the british received as a dowry his methods of controlling the epidemic were harsh the military officers who accompanied him would break into homes search people for signs of the plague and transport them to an isolated camp they would strip all men and women naked after entering homes to conduct their examination it was obvious to the three brothers that walter rand was to blame for the mistreatment of these women in a retaliation for this persecution of their compatriots they decided to assassinate assassinate him a short while later on 22nd june 1897 the diamond jubilee of queen victoria's coronation was to be celebrated damodar balkrishna and vasudev decided to execute their plan on this day each brother had a sword a handgun or a gun when they stepped out they were supposed to wait for walter rand at what is known today as senapati bapat mark but as he was passing they failed to recognize his vehicle as it was covered damodar hari hid his weapon and waited for walter rand to come back he then hurriedly hurried uh, hurried after his vehicle as soon as he drove off calling out to his brothers gundaya alare the thug is here damodar hari pulled the curtain of the carriage and fired a shot walter rand's military bodyguard arrested rode directly behind him 
Balkrishnan Hari shot him in the head and killed him instantly. However, Walter Rand did not die there and was taken to Sassoon Hospital. He passed away on 3 July 1897. Dravid brothers testified to the incident. On 18th April 1898, the mother Hari was hung after being apprehended based on their identification. Despite managing to escape, Bal Krishnan Hari was arrested in January 1899 as a result of a companion's betrayal. He was hung on 12th May 1899. The Dravid brothers who made statements against his siblings were slain by Vasudev Hari on the same evening 9th February 1899 he and his friends Khandu Vishnu Sathe and Mahadev Vinayak Ranade attempted to assassinate chief constable of police Rama Pandu but were captured the Chapikar brothers Bal Krishnan Hari and Vasudev Hari along with Mahadeva Vinayak Ranade were found guilty on March 8 1899 and sentenced to death by hanging they were subsequently executed Vasudev Hari on May 8 1899 Mahadeva Vinayak Ranade on May 10 1899 and Bal Krishna Hari on May 12 1899 Like with the case of Vinayak Savarkar, the tale of the Chapikar brothers' valorous deed has been forgotten with the VCC chudes of time, often because of the Nehruvian Marxist historians whose entire focus since the independence was to glorify and lionize the Indian National Congress leaders and cast aside revolutionaries as in consequential to the country's freedom struggle history books still have sections disproportionately dedicated to the gandhis nehru etc but the sacrifices made by the chapikar brothers barely find any mention the history of india's fight for freedom is often recounted from the view point of the non violent moment however the narrative of armed resistance to colonial rule is equally significant figures like vinayak savarkar arvind ghosh ras bihari bos bagha jatin sachindra nath sanyal bhagat singh chandra shekhar azad and subhas chandra bos are still well remembered their stories are typically portrayed as individual acts of heroism rather than as part of a broader movement with a cohesive strategy or substantial impact on the overall struggle for independence but sanjeev sanyal in his book revolutionaries the other story of how india won its freedom eloquently makes a case for how the revolutionary movement was not just a manifestation of isolated incidents of anger but a well coordinated strategy to overthrow the british rule from the country in his seminal book on veer savarkar savarkar echoes from a forgotten past author vikram sampat mentions in remarkable detail the life of the three chapikar brothers their growing up years and their inspiration behind the assassination of the englishman walter rand relying on primary sources of information national archives and a host of other sources sampad recounted the pure detestation chapikar brothers had for the english which only intensified and with rand's repressive plague control measures in the pune region where his troops entered the temples and brought out women from their houses broke idols and burst holy books under the pretext of controlling the pestilence following which they drew up an elaborate plan to assassinate the chief responsible for the indignities 
एज फॉर द सत्यनारायण कथा अर्फ अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर इज नो हिस्टोरिकल अकाउंट ऑफ इट्स पॉपुलरिटी थ्रू आउट इंडिया बिफोर चापेकर्ज ट्रांसलेशन नो मैटर हाउ फॉर यू सर्च द चापेकर ब्रदर्स माइट नॉट हैव रिसीव्ड द रिकग्निशन दे डिजर्व आइदर इन लिटरेचर मूवीज और अदर मीडिया बट दे नेक्स्ट टाइम यू हियर सत्यनारायण कथा ट्राई टू कीप इन माइंड हाउ रिलीजन ऑनर जीट्स मार्टाइर ए नेशन एग्जिस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इट इंडिया ओन फ्रीडम ड्यू टू द ब्लड एंड टीयर्ज शेड बाय हंड्रेड्स ऑफ नेमलेस रेवोल्यूशनरीज एंड देयर फैमिलीज हु ब्रेव्ड ब्रिटिश बारबेरिटी एंड फेस्ड डेथ डेपोटेशन इम्प्रीजनमेंट एंड फोर फीचर ऑफ प्रोपर्टी फ्रीडम वॉज सर्टनली नॉट वॉन बाई please prayers and petitions it was won substantially by violent and armed struggle by revolutionaries a process that culminated in the novel uprising of 1946 the struggle for freedom was carried out not only in india but also abroad by people such as श्याम जी कृष्ण वर्मा वीर सावरकर मैडम बीका जी कामा बैरिस्टर सरदार सिंह राणा वीरेंद्र नाथ चट्टोपाध्याय सरदार अजीत सिंह लाला हरदयाल रास बिहारी बोस राजा महेंद्र प्रताप एंड चंपा रमन पिल्ले इन दिस इलस्ट्रियस लिस्ट ऑफ फायरी पैट्रियोट्स चापेकर ब्रदर्स स्टैंड आउट फॉर देयर sheer craze and supreme sacrifice the chapekers are chit pavan brahmins coming from konkan the family came over to the this country and settled at chinchanwad near pune where the three brothers damodar balkrishna and vasudev were born about 1870 1873 and 1879 respectively the father hari pant followed the priestly profession repeating kirtans or stories from scriptures and works at different houses in pune and bombay the sons did not receive much formal education they learned reading and writing and began helping their brothers in his kirtans as they grew their profession insisted on the performance of the daily brahmanical rites and in the general atmosphere of orthodoxy of pune the brothers developed a strong conservative attitude intolerant of the social reform movement formation of secret organization as the chapekars grew pune became the storm center of several controversies over the age of consent bill the sharda ashram of pandita rambai a christian convert and the hindu muslim rights the kesari and other local papers were championing the cause of orthodoxy and in this atmosphere the chapekars began to feel that a deliberate attempt was being made to humiliate hindu religion by the reformers and muslims at the instigation of the british government they felt they had to do something for their faith they organized an association called chapekar club for physical and military training which they also called as the society for the removal of obstacles to the hindu religion their activities took the form of attacking leading social reform reformers in the dark putting tar on the queen's statue near the esplanade in bombay and burning the examination pandal they became active members of the ganpati melas the lustily sang songs praising shivaji for his daring deeds and exhorting the audience to risk their life on the 
बैटल फील्ड इन ए नेशनल वार टू शेड अपॉन द अर्थ द लाइफ ब्लड ऑफ द एनिमीज हु डेस्ट्रॉयड हिंदू रिलीजन द पुणे प्लेग अबाउट द एंड ऑफ एटीन नाइनटी सिक्स प्लेग अज्यूम्ड एन एपिडेमिक फॉर्मिन बॉम्बे प्रेजिडेंसी एंड द ब्रिटिश मर्केंटाइल community panicked lest it might tease the shores of the british isles and affect their commerce the government of india was asked to pursue strong measures to stamp out the epidemic a law was passed and special officers were appointed in plague affected areas to fight the disease rand was posted to the city of pune in february 1897 and lost no time in establishing a plague hospital and segregation or quarantine camps and starting a campaign to disinfect the affected localities british soldiers were used to implement the program strictly this caused no little harassment to the public when their houses were searched their family worship places desecrated their household goods scattered scattered or destroyed and their women folk were roughly handled the plague officer rand showed little deference for public opinion and his high handed conduct came in for strong criticism for the local press the kesri and other paper just the people not to suffer quietly the operation of rand's rule the chapikers could not remain immune to the propagandas they wanted to terrorize the government officers they felt that by celebrating the diamond jubilee of queen victoria's rule the government was adding insult to injury they determined to take revenge and decided to kill rand the chief source of all the harassment they procured weapons and watched rand's movement for a few days killing of officer rand the year 1897 was the 60th year of queen victoria's regime a program was organized even in pune on this occasion at the raj bhavan in ganesh kind on 22nd june 1897 rand and yurts left after attending the program at night in their respective horse carriages the carriage in which yurts was traveling was a little ahead as the watch word gondaya ale re ala target has come was called out by vasudeva rao it was a signal for bal krishna to finish off friend the infamous british officer who had created much distress among the masses with his tactless handling of the pune plague fired with revolutionary zeal bal krishna boarded the covered carriage and shot the occupant dead suddenly he found that it was lieutenant irest an associate of friend even then the call was going on there therefore damodar pant understood what had happened he was also happy that although he thought that he was deprived of the opportunity by bal krishna now was his chance to take action he stopped vasudev rao who was running after rand who was in the second and jumped into the coach he drew aside the curtains and emptied his revolver into rand's head from the back damodar pant got off the horse carriage very happy for having accomplished his mission none of the incidents was noticed by either of the coachmen all this happened after midnight the road was deserted and the young man who shot lyrest and rand disappeared in the dark boundless sacrifice of chapikar brothers the killing shook the british empire and soon special officers were appointed to investigate into the murder the reward of rupees 20000 was 
announced by british government for the person giving information on the whereabouts of the assassins who had added a colorful chapter to the history of the freedom movement of india the police resorted to ruthless repression in order to strike terror in the hearts of the people the anglo indian press and particularly the times of india wrote insinuating articles alleging that lokmanya tilak's speeches had incited the killers to kill mr rand and that the pune brahmins had conspired to overthrow the british government in the meantime damodar chapikar had been arrested for rand's murder in bombay chapikar took the entire responsibility of the murder upon himself people were amazed when they came to know of his fearless statement in the court on 2nd march 1898 in the sessions court damodar was found guilty and sentenced to death while damodar chapikar was kept in the yerwada prison in the ward for prisoners to be hanged tilak was kept in another ward of the same prison Damodar Chapikar requested the authorities at the prison to be allowed to meet Tilak once at least. The permission was granted when Damodar met Tilak. He asked him for a copy of the Bhagavad Gita and requested that after his death the last rite should be performed according to the Hindu religion. Tilak gave a copy of the Bhagavad Gita to Damodar and later went to the gallows quietly holding the religious book in his hands Tilak arranged for the funeral and the last rites to be performed according to the deceased wishes Bal Krishna Chapikar was arrested in December 1898 the Dravid brothers who had once one time were members of the Chapikar club became informers and owing to the information supplied by them the police arrested damodar and bal krishna chapikar the youngest of the chapikar brothers vasudeva and rana de brothers member of the chapikar club shot the dravid brothers near their house in sadasi pet in pune on 18th february 1899 the Dravid brothers succumbed to their injuries the next day following which Rana Day and Vasudev Chapikar were arrested in the second week of May 1899 Vasudev his brother Balkrishna and Rana Day all three were hanged in the Yeroda prison all the three brothers felt they were dying for a lofty cause and showed no signs of fear or remorse when mounting the gallows they were all married but left no issue the supreme sacrifice made by the three brothers was unique and evoked respect in the hearts of the people tilak arranged for the last rites of the three brothers and their associate rana de who had laid down their lives for the honor of their motherland people did not view Ra- Rand's murder by the Chapikar brother Jaji crime freedom fighters Damodar Hari Chapikar and his brothers Bal Krishna and Vasudeva drew praise from none other than Lala Raj Patrai Lala Raj Patrai the line of Punjab road the Chapikar brothers who murdered the two officers who had made themselves obnoxious during the plague epidemic in Pune were not looked upon by the people as criminals the chapikar brothers met their fate heroically people admired the motive behind the deed though not the deed itself chapikar brothers were in fact the founders of the revolutionary movement in india freedom fighters like bhagat singh savarkar hated the british and they stood against the British with all their might they made every sacrifice including the highest one of their life the names and faces are innumerable how was this possible what was the drive behind their selfless act 
Today the situation is quite different. At that time we had a powerful family system which was dynamic and vibrant. Because of this we could have patriots in our country. During the British time the education was partitioned from the school curriculum. Hindu dharma, our culture, our gods and goddesses were detracted but we in our homes were stoically faithful to our gods. Besides, fortunately, there were many religious books available outside school. The people subscribed to the British viewpoint only to pass the exam, but everyone knew in their hearts that this was untrue. Such was the powerful current of thought prevailing in the minds and hearts of our people and every household that no effect of vicious education of British was felt. In short, it is because of our family system and values that previous generations were properly guided. But unfortunately, today our family system is being destroyed due to this. The Hindu today is becoming fearful, ignorant, lost in the whirlpools of the world. The revolutionary Chapikar brothers whose exploits inspired Savarkar to fight against the British hated most of the so-called reformists and religious converts. They were of the impression that these so-called reformists and religious betters would one day destroy our nation and turn infidels and traitors to their own country. For killing Rand and Lieutenant Irest, the Chapikar and Mahadev Ranade were hanged to death. The story how these brave men sacrificed themselves on the altar of women's struggle is inspiring. Today one may feel all the attempts of Chapikar and Ranade were juvenile and the killing of Rand and Irest were unnecessary. But one must remember all this work was for their love of the, their country. The Chapikar brothers did not stand to make any money nor collect laurels for this act. They shed their blood for their brethren. There was no personal benefit to them on their family. Are we ready to go to such extremes for the sake of our nation? Have we done anything as yet for our country? Answer these questions before venturing to criticize the valiant brothers and the freedom fighter. The critique of such valiant acts is like a coward calling for peace when faced with mortal peril. Those doing this would also be consigned to hell. Remember well the sacrifice of Chapikar brothers and that of Ranade will never be forgotten by our countrymen. It is eternally echoed on the minds of the Indian. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar my dear friends. Thank you. Huh?